welcome back to another episode of laughing at people who disappoint my generation. Today we got the sweetest lineup ever, okay? We got constipated Cory. <laughs> Famous YouTuber Jacksepticeye. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Stop telling him that. He's looking a little bit different. And an actual psychopath. Oh, and uh, we also have her. For the most part, this is my typical day. Okay, so our first clip is obviously redhead Nancy, right? She's feeling a little stimulated today. Oh my god, I can't believe you guys caught me doing this. This is so embarrassing, guys. I do this on a regular basis. No joke, literally me when you don't smash that like button. Okay, so our next one is fake DID. You know, the classic, a bunch of alters. Except this person has their boyfriend as one of their alters. And uh, it, it's causing a, l a little bit of a problem. Me being upset that my boyfriend is in my system. So I can't physically hug him or anything, okay? I think that's just called self-love, okay? Okay, wait, uh, I don't have to sneak him into a room at night to have alone time. Wait, did you just tell me you were about to frick yourself? I- Did- Did- Wait, wait a minute. I'm, I'm I'm not comprehending what's going on here. Are you are you just gonna jack off? Pardon me. I'm a little bit confused here because if you are your boyfriend, and you want alone time at night at night, you you freak yourself, <laughs> fellas. I don't know about you. I I've seen everything now. <laughs> I mean, I can't really blame you, right? When nobody else will. I feel I feel the pain to be honest. Okay, so this next one, I'm a little confused again. It says four different dream fictives await me. Is this referring to YouTuber dream? That's the only dream I can think of. And you have green hair. Surely this is a dream TikTok, right? I really don't know what they're doing at this point. I think they're just like randomly naming themselves and turning around dramatically. Apparently this is all it takes to have an altar. Just, I'm mega sus now. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute guys. I'm ultra sus now, let's go, I'm evolving. Wait, wait, another one. Giga sus, let's go. Each time I turn around, I gain more suspicious energy. I'm the most suspicious man in the world. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. After making these many Gen Z videos, I think I may have a disorder. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to constipated Cory? <laughs> You know that feeling when you fake a disorder so bad, you just gotta get really into it. You gotta go Dragon Ball, you gotta go Urgh! That's basically what this person did. It's, it's, it's going off really, really bad right now. So now's my chance to catch it on, huh, on camera. Wow, that must be a really rare occurrence, you know? You acting like an idiot, that's, I'm sure that's very rare. <sighs> This is what I've been dealing with. Man, the disconnect between the voice and the body is really something like, Man, I can't, I can't believe this is happening to me, man. And then it's literally just Nikocado there. <sighs> you good? You, 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 did, you, did you get it out? Did you get it, get it out of your system? I, I, I assume that must have been the largest poop that was ever stuck, ever, right? You telling me you just sit in your house, you know, turn on your camera and conveniently just start screaming? <laughs> Man, this never happens to me. It only happens when I'm recording my TikToks. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give a round of applause to constipated Cory? I mean, he had a large bowl of Cheetos the other night. He had to get it out somehow. Okay, this next one, I'm pretty sure it's, a, it's another byproduct of the cringe Minecraft crew, you know, producing some crazy characters out here. We got he, him, slash... Drew drug drugs and drug self, very heavily gay, uh, protector, I think, Wilbur Soot introject, all right, that, definitely a Minecraft situation here. I love my partners, the colors blue, yellow, and green, and in my past, I was an addict before I got here, 
are you just admitting you're a drug addict here? Or what, what is this? I, I like taking care of the system when I can, even if it means making an idiot of myself. Well, you got that part covered. You know, half of these posts are basically like my English literature class. There is no meaning to the words on the pages. The authors are complete idiots. But then the teacher wants you to drag out some meaning out of this. I'm supposed to read this paragraph and somehow it's supposed to be deep or meaningful somehow. I mean, is it really my obligation to someone who has pronouns as drug, drugs and drug self to take someone like that seriously? Do I really have to pay attention to this? Come on. Wilbur Soot interjects just the pristine fan base there. Okay, so you know in movies they do that badass walk, you know, the main character just walks towards the camera and you're like, there's some explosions in the background you're kind of like damn that's so cool you're so intimidating and stuff yeah when tiktok tries to do that it's just well we'll take a look Okay, in case you didn't catch the captions there, right? This is a person with another fake altar, and uh, I assume it was equally cringe, so it was getting roasted online. So they switched to the badass altar. This was the badass altar, apparently. You know, the, the person who, er, er, you saw what they did with the fist there? Like, er, I'm gonna beat you up. I'm gonna beat you up. Er, er. Guys, I don't know about you. I might be several miles, potentially countries away from this person, but I am still scared. They might find me. They might actually hunt me down. You, it's super intimidating. I don't know how you try to act like you're, you're a big brother or someone that protects somebody. You're like, er, don't mess with my, uh, my altar acid, okay? I'm gonna beat you up. And then you end up looking like a Teletubby. Have some self-respect. All right, we're back with Ticks and Roses, okay? This is the person who popularized faking uh, disorders on TikTok because she did it and she got so much attention. These attention-seeking morons just popped out of nowhere, right? So let's take a look because she has uh, hundreds of clips, right? So we, we can't watch them all. Well, we'll just take a look at some of them. Hey everyone, it's Emerald. And today I'm going to rate my most common ticks. The most common right now is Bibu. Another one of my somewhat common ones is saying hello repeatedly. For example, I went to the grocery store and I said hello to the same child like 30 times in a row. This is like, hello, 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 hello. Oh my God, you do this in the grocery store? You do this out in public? That's just embarrassing. I thought you at least keep your antics to your TikTok. You know, you keep it in your house. But if you go outside and do this, I think, I mean, I think the cashier is just gonna slap you or something. Imagine she walks up to your kid, starts beep booing all over him. What's she doing? She looks like the type of person to slap herself and cry about it. Because we have split personalities. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Stop telling them that. Shut up. All right, I had to double take when I saw that because uh, I recognize that voice. You probably do as well. That is famous YouTuber gaming warlord Jacksepticeye. And then we just have this emo kid just freaking out in the background. I don't know why I'm saying kid. He clear he looks older than me. Come on. Dude, you're like the poster boy of what every 14 year old girl thinks she'll like until she grows up like three months and realizes this is the cringiest thing she's ever seen. This has got to be one of my favorite names ever. Booba Doobie. All right. Hello, Mrs. Booda Booba. 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 Booba Doobie. Okay. Okay. There is boob in there. All right. So this is Lily. One of my alters, she's very bubbly, so I set her up for this audio. You won't hear the audio, I'll just put something else, but yeah. Okay, unless that's the sound of your newborn baby crying for the first time, you should not be getting that happy. Bubbles? You're a full-grown woman. What do you mean, bubbles? Hey guys, I heard this weird audio on TikTok. Bubbles! Come on. Dude, we need another word for cringe. Cringe doesn't even begin to describe what I'm watching. An actual video of me getting verbal paralysis while filming an intro. Okay, so... A lot of you guys don't know this, right? But YouTubers, we often retake our lines, especially when you're doing an intro, because you don't just randomly sit down in a chair and go, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Jake Paul time. You see how I messed up there? I would normally cut that out, but no, no. This time, we're gonna see how a TikToker does it, you know? An actual video of me getting verbal paralysis while filming an intro. Okay, uh, here's an example of me getting verbal paralysis. 
many hours later. You see that? You see that? I have a disorder, guys. Me when my teacher tells me to present in front of the class. Verbal paralysis. Shut the hell up, you're giving me brain paralysis. Okay, and now, now we get to the good part. I heard only psychopaths can hear these words. Oh god. Oh god. Is she a psychopath? Oh no! I heard only psychopaths can hear the words. Why can I hear them? Should I be worried? Okay, let's be honest. The only worrying you should be doing is for your dad for giving birth to a disappointment. I don't even know what word she's hearing. Is it in, in the audio that she played? Because I thought, I, I mean, that just sounds like a regular tune. Am I not a psychopath? Do I not understand it? Are you guys hearing anything? Any psychopaths in the comments? Okay, now this one is probably the most egregious case of just blatant, blatant fake BS, okay? This woman just starts shaking like a complete moron for a straight five minutes. I don't know how you do this. With, with, with like any ounce of self-respect, you would stop doing this. You would be like, all right, maybe I can stop for a second because what she describes is literally physically impossible. She's just spasming from every part of her body. Like your body will get tired and die probably. I don't know. And my name is Sean Skelton and I'm very real. And unfortunately, this is also very real. I didn't know what else to do other than to just come on live and show everybody what my body is going through. Really? You, you couldn't think of anything else to do? You know, maybe go to a doctor, get your condition assessed or something like that. No, let's uh, open TikTok because uh, that's, that's what I want. I want followers and clout. I love how she says this is very real while simultaneously doing the most fake hand movements I've ever seen. For the most part, this is my typical day. You really said this is my typical day. So you're telling me you never stop moving, ever. Literally never. I don't think that's physically possible. Your, your arms would fall off, your legs would fall off, something would happen. This is right now, I've even taken two values. And this is how much my body just controls the move. And I know I have a lot of support, but a lot of you people on Facebook are really mean. But I just appreciate everybody's prayers. Do you wanna help me get up and you really put this on Facebook? Okay, you really are a boomer. You really think people on there are gonna solve your condition? Walk. I'm just exhausted. It's exhausting for your body to constantly go like this, but it is what it is. And I don't know how else to prove that I'm real. I mean, come on, this is literally something we've all done when you're five years old and you want to, like, exaggerate an injury to your mom. She's like, oh, you're fine. I'm like, no, 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 mom, I don't want to, I don't, I can't go to school today. I just, I fell down a little bit too hard. But as a full-grown adult, there's really no excuse for this, okay? <laughs> Yeah, let me just shove my hand into the mix right there. That, that'll convince them. Also, the first time you put that in, that was the most natural way anyone could ever put that in. I mean, can we watch that back for a sec? You literally you literally went this to, to in the bowl, and then you took it out and put it back in. I mean, at least make an effort there. Come on. <laughs> okay, I've saved the best clip for last. This one legitimately will give you a nightmare, okay? My problem are he slash him hello my name's everflow i don't have an age i'm a persecutor <laughs> i am non-human 
I mean, I, I wish you didn't exist. I, I, I really wholeheartedly wish you weren't on my timeline here, but sadly you do. Also, it's like this person's like late to the program, right? Like they didn't read the manual for how to fake disorders on TikTok. At least the other people have a little bit more effort. You're just using the oldest trick in the book. Like this is literally every criminal back in the 1900s when they got arrested. Let me pretend to be insane. Uh, I am crazy right now, guys. Like, it, come on, it's so obvious. That's it for this episode, hope you enjoyed, bye-bye.